Hi Gemini, it's Jo from Angels and Ancestors and Lovelies. This is your What the Fuck reading, 20th to the 26th of July. Wow, that's a what the fuck, isn't it? Okay. Um, just a reminder that at a thousand subs we are going to have a little bit of fun. Um, and I'm going to be doing free readings for five people and I will choose you from the comments box. So if you want to be considered, please put your name in the comments. It will be a recorded um, reading, only privately put up onto YouTube so you can see it um, when I send you the link. And there will be one person will be chosen to receive an oracle deck as well so lovelies we have your current situation and we have your first aspect facing your fears and taking the fucking power back now we're looking for your second aspect lovelies please keep in mind these are general readings they are not supposed to resonate with everybody they can't possibly so take what you can leave the rest if you like what i do please like share and subscribe for me I think you're going to pull half the deck here, Gemini. So let's have your movement, your journey, where the fuck you need to be. Okay. And then we're going to go to what the fuck you can do about the situation. What can Gemini do about this situation? is out of your hands and then we're going to go to the reconnection to the true you Gemini Okay, lovelies, so what started your what the fuck? Is this too dark? Is that a bit better? I did wonder if I needed to put the big light out, but let's see how we get on with your reading. I do love the candles in this. So, darlings, it looks like what started the what the fuck was you was drawing down energy from the universe whether you're aware of it or not um, and I'm guessing that you was allowing the moon to illuminate something for you and you've been using your wisdom in dealing with that and part of that wisdom was the knight of wands beckoning you to reach the sun in the distance but it asks you to enjoy the journey as much as the destination maybe you weren't aware of things around you and then suddenly you became aware of what was around you and what was happening and with nature right behind that I'm getting that maybe you went and danced in nature perhaps you went and took solace in nature I'm not getting around you that there's an entrapment here I'm kind of getting that may be a trap that you thought was um, being set didn't happen or it was released um, and you was able to go off and do your own thing which led to the seven of pentacles giving you lots of choices and I'm getting that there's some confusion about that now the sevens are spiritual cards but this is definitely an earth card. This is about your pentacles. This is about your career. This is about your home life. 
and this is something that you love to do that you are going to be capable of making money of and I think you're aware of that but something is holding it back for you so that's what started your what the fuck and I think you're very aware of your inner self Gemini because otherwise you wouldn't have had the page of a Thames, which is you drawing down the moon or drawing down on the energy of the universe and using the moon to illuminate and using your wisdom I think your wisdom has told you enjoy this journey because it is a journey it's going to release you from something um, or has released you from something and is now allowing you these beautiful choices going forward but again it is a journey and I kind of get that maybe you want to hurry through it so your first aspect darlings Facing your fears and taking your fucking power back. You're stepping out of the shadows, Gemini. I kind of get that maybe some of you might be a bit shy in order to do this with the Lord of Shadows. But I'm also getting that you're really hankering after rejoining life and stepping out into the sunshine that you really do want to emerge fully. Um, even with being shy, I'm kind of getting that you've got this inner strength from somewhere that is embarking you on a whole new journey of discovery with the eight of chalices now i know other readers say this is a negative card i very rarely get it as a negative card and this is no different the eight of chalices is you embarking on a new journey a new quest in your life your cups are in the upright behind you those are your friends, family and community and they right now have got your back and the sun is beating down on you, telling you, yes, I've, I'm going to give you the warmth, I'm going to push you forward onto this journey and then right behind that you have got the High Priestess and the High Priestess asks you to use your intuition. You know what to put in that cooking pot, you don't need a recipe book. You, you just do your own thing and you, you get it right. Then you've got the Queen of Wands. Now, she's the Queen of Desire. She will help you bring this to fruition. Now, this could be a fire sign. It could be Aries, Leo or Sag. Um, it could be you that you've got some fire uh, within your birth chart. But there's definitely a fire in your belly. And this particular Queen is there... To help you realize that particular dream and again you are having the journey repeated with the holly king and he is asking you to quest spiritually as well as physically he is also described as father time so facing your fears may take some time but what i'm getting is you're standing beautifully in your power because you've had this shyness You've gone out onto a quest. You've stood in your power beautifully, realising your desires and then knowing instinctively that to get exactly what you want is going to take time. So your second aspect, your wish fulfilment, your manifestation and why it may be fucked you have got the knight of pentacles so in the beginning you had the knight of wands that's telling you enjoy what's going on enjoy the journey and this one is saying you're beautifully moving slowly as it may be but beautifully moving towards this knight of pentacles towards your pennies towards your career towards your family life and it may be that there's some work-life balance things that are calling you to sort out. But you are steadily moving towards what you want. And I think that's what you're manifesting. You're manifesting your pentacles. There is something you want to do around your pentacles. It is a big desire for you to carry it forward. And right now, love is your wish fulfillment, your manifestation you know you're moving towards it, but you're also looking at your future. You haven't untethered yourself 
but you are looking clearly out over your future with the six of a Thames. Now, part of your manifestation, your wish fulfillment is you're trying to bring yourself back into balance. You are trying to balance your pentacles, balance yourself, balance your home life. And that's what I was saying about the work-life balance may be needed to be sorted out. And this is part of your manifestation going forward. But also part of your manifestation, darlings, is you want to stand independent, Gemini. The Queen of Athamis, she's an air sign. This could be you, male or female. She stands in her power. She's a great thinker. She's highly intelligent, highly intuitive, and she knows just the right time to cut things out that no longer serve her, just like she has this innate ability to protect herself and those around her she thinks things through maybe at times she over processes things and i'm getting that that's you but do you know something if you are manifesting being stronger you are doing exactly the right thing you are looking at your pentacles you're looking at your future you want to come back into balance and you want to let go of the things that no longer serve you so that is your manifestation it's a good manifestation there is no need to rush that it will happen for you then do you know, there's nothing extraordinary about your manifestations is what we would all like to have happen however for you these are vitally important to you right now um, and they it will come about it will definitely come about so your journey um, and where the fuck you need to be your movement card is you've also in this reading got the priest on your journey and he beckons you forward he beckons you to step within his power and he is saying look at tradition look at it you don't have to use it but look at it look where you came from the sun is beating down it's giving you a yes this is a magical card moving you forward right behind that you have got the page oh my goodness you've got the page of wands you've got the page of wands now this particular page is a fire sign and they are going to help you clear away clear a blockage away so you can move forward to the page of chalices who is beckoning you to reconnect and do something you really loved in your younger years because that is what you are going to be successful at so far you have got three pages in this reading so i'm wondering if you're a parent and you have got a fire sign an air sign and a water sign Because there seems to be a lot of beckoning from young people around you. And, the, the you know, this night of a theme is maybe the younger you. And you're still journeying towards what you're supposed to be doing. And these other two pages could be younger siblings. They could be your own children. But they are beckoning you. One of them is going to clear a blockage, surprisingly magically almost um they probably think quite beyond their years or it could just be it's somebody that's bloody immature around you and then they're going to surprise you by coming up with a solution to something and all of a sudden you're going to see them in a completely different light um but this one at the back the page of chalices definitely definitely drawing you in and saying come on come on reconnect to this whether it's painting drawing writing baking cakes climbing mountains it doesn't fly in a plate it doesn't matter what it is so long as it makes your soul sing gemini so lovely is what you can do about the situation you've got the quest card again how many times have you got that You've got it in there and you've got it in here and the blockage is being cleared. So, yes, yeah, so you've got this quest. You're definitely going to do it. You're going to step outside your comfort zone 
and I'm still getting that whoever this is for has had an element of shyness around them um, is there's been an element of just shying away from things shying away from your community over certain things but this quest this leaving your comfort zone is going to cause for it's going to cause a celebration you are going to celebrate and right in behind that you have got what we call the charity card with the six of pentacles now this is about giving and taking now if it is a charitable act it doesn't have to be monetary it can be as much as a kind word or an act but i am kind of getting that this is your quest your celebration and this six of pentacles you are giving and taking um in equal amounts right now but please please do that with dignity and grace and what you can do about the situation is just surge forwards lovelies with your two celebrate whenever you can don't hold back on that because like this said enjoy the journey it's there to be lived in and the give and take that you you have um it just means that you are in a really good balanced position at the moment gemini there's something in the offing that you are really really wanting um to do and i get that it may have been a long time in the planning but all of a sudden you're going to find and this is the card you can't do anything about that you are going to stand very strong and you are going to give a voice to those who haven't got a voice this is the advocate for nature he looks after protects and has a voice for everything in nature and he is clearly um, making sure that you feel that you can stand as strong as he stands he is going to give you an amazing voice to use the universe wants you to speak up about your amazing journey they want you to speak up about what it is that's made you tick and what it is that's made you step forward to stand strong and give other people a voice and that's very likely why you have the charity card in what you can do about the situation because i do feel that you're moving away from very hard work and the blockage is going to be cleared and when you get to this bit you will understand why you had to go through so much to actually get to this last bit so my darlings you have got the reconnecting to the true you you've got the six of wands this is accolade this is recognition by friends family and community and it could be that what you're doing is suddenly going to get recognized and you're going to go yep yeah, i've come home yep yeah, i'm doing exactly what i want to do and that is how you're going to reconnect to your true self now darlings you had another five somewhere i know you did where has that gone you've got a couple of sixes in here but i'm sure you had a five where is it i'm just looking for it perhaps you didn't i thought you had another five in there no you haven't wow so right at the end this is your outcome what the fuck is happening next no it's all this stuff that you're doing all this hard work you've done and the queen of a theme is in your manifestation she's coming straight through to the ending and she's going to help you release the stuff that has caused you i'm, I'm not going to say to her i'm going to say it's caused you discomfort you're going to let the wind take it you're going to just pour it away you're going to let it flow away from you um and that is a really good position to be in i knew there was another five right at the bottom of the deck 
the overall energy. This is you bringing a group of people together. This is you um, coming together with a group of people. This is you coming together with a group of people for your friends, family and community. And I have to say with this card, um, I know other readers say it's negative. I don't. When you get a group of people coming together to do something collectively, you do need the personalities to be complementary, let's put it this way. However, in the real world, when they're not doing this, I don't get that these people are friends. I kind of get they come together to do this magical stuff that they can do. And then once it's done, they kind of go their separate ways because there's a lot of ego to contend with around them, Gemini. So let's see what the angels and ancestors have to say about this week, 20th through to the 26th of July. Anything else for Gemini for this week? Right, no, no, you've got one. And do you know what? It's a beautiful card, this. And it says, I don't know what it says because I haven't got any blooming glasses on. I've got it. Um, I'm just going to go and grab some glasses so I really can't read that. So, my lovelies, it says, enjoy growth and reap rewards. You have the lady... That's your readings, my darlings, and you are going to reap rewards. You really, really are. It's going to be hard work, but as you get through the week, as you get through this period, things will become really obvious to you as where you need to be, where you're going to be. And I think it's going to be something that you're really happy with. So, my lovelies, there you go. That's your reading for this week. Wherever you are in the world, be safe. Bye for now.